Hi Taurus! Here is a general overview of your solar chart for July 2016 and here I am reporting to you from another space. This is another box on wheels. Um, it's quite echoey, it's quite empty. Um, there's a couple of tables, uh, a chair, uh, a pillow, uh, a cushion I mean, um, and various bits and bobs and the camera and you and me. Um, I think that's it. Um, and there's an exercise ball as well, one of those Pilates things, and I think it's great. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep it like this. Now, um, this month I want to speak about uh, Saturn Neptune. Uh, they're very close by degree in the sky at this time, and your transit uh, of Saturn um, through the eighth house. But just before I do that quickly, you've got the Sun, Mercury and Venus all in a very chatty, sociable area, maybe making new contacts. Uh, maybe there's some more toing and froing for some of you. Uh, this is a good time for speaking, writing, also just getting to know stuff, gathering bits of information. Could be more paperwork as well, but it looks like a busy, sociable time. And you could be making new friends. And then um, Venus and Mercury, Venus on the 12th, Mercury on the 14th, move out of there and, and put the emphasis then at the roots of your life, the foundations of your life. Maybe it's to do with the home base or somewhere that feels quite welcoming and homely, probably with Venus there. Um, and again, um, you could... Um, you could be enjoying um, others' company. However, you could be feeling a bit sensitive. However, again, with Venus there, it's likely that that'll get, you know, looked after. It'll be cared for in, in, in some sort of way. It's a good time for buying, selling, settling feuds, a uh, good time for connecting with family um, or, or those that you consider to be family um and 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 so on and then and then the sun comes in there to join them on the from the 22nd onwards um and of course mars is in your opposite sign at the moment so that can be quite dynamic the exchange is going on between you and an opposite number but just let me get to to saturn so um Sat it's not an easy one this one actually um saturn going through this eighth house area um so you can be feeling very kind of bruised because you're oversensitive to a lot of stuff. Um, it can manifest like that, um, not in all cases, of course, but it can manifest like that, or it can manifest um, that you are, um, you're having to play out a contract or an agreement that, that really has lost the meaning for you. Or, there's, or, or maybe there's just something missing in it all, in a sort of sharing situation. Maybe the kind of the, um, the, 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 the time that you enjoyed uh, or that the, the, you, you made the agreement has kind of faded away now. Or maybe this is the very, very end of a, of a long running contract or agreement. Um, this is the time though to slowly let go of stuff from the past and clear the decks to make space for new life. Um, so the residue, whatever it is, whether it's to do with your health, to relationships, your work, um, your just your general lifestyle habits, whatever. It can also be to do with property, possessions, property and um, finances. Um, and you just become aware over the time frame of what really is of value. Um, and there could be some sort of power struggle situation which is kind of frozen. It's like a cold war. Push me, pull you, push me, pull you. That's another way that this one can happen. Um, and um, another manifestation of this is, is, is that the, the, you no longer have a certain support system that you were used to having. Whether that is uh, like a resource, an external resource or, or set of resources or indeed an emotional one. Um, However, uh, you'll slowly be transitioning through this stage and finding the loophole, finding your way up to, to bring in those elements that you feel are so, so sadly lacking. So rather than just dwelling in the, in the lack aspect of it, it's saying, okay, I'm going to be creative now and I'm going to figure out how I can, how I can bring back that, that balance and, and bring back um, whatever it is that I, I'm feeling that I'm missing here. And it is altogether doable because 
Saturn is the builder. Um, you Taurians born the 28th of April to the 2nd of May or with 9, degree, 9 to 12 degrees ri rising, you're going to be feeling that one the most. So you're, 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 you're letting go or either voluntarily or things from the past are actually moving away and, and kind of um, making you feel maybe for a while a bereavement process going through. But then at the same time, you're building up, building up, building up. And then you're transitioning fully into this new sec sector here or this new arena, uh, this new field. Now, the current Saturn-Neptune transit um, brings uncertainty and decision and indecision to us all, which is hence is why I made the video about, you know, w what the heck to do about which way to go with the referendum or, or the election or whatever. Um, uh, so it just 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 means harder work. It's harder work to get clarity on things, um, and then to make decisions, get organised, and go forwards. Um, and feeling quite confident, uh, it really is hard to do at this time. Now that transit ends at the end of June. Well, at the end of Ju yeah, at the end of July actually, and then comes in again a little bit over September and a, and a little tiny bit of October, and then that's that's it. Um, because of the long transit of Neptune through your 11th house, your view of some friends um, or associates, contacts, may be either distorted or indeed they've let you down. You know, they're, they're not what you thought them to be. Um, and you can either overvalue or undervalue them um, as well. That's another way it can happen, that either you're idealizing someone because you think they're the best thing since, you know, sliced bread. Or, or indeed, um, you are um, undervaluing someone because, well, <laughs> let me pick a reason, you know, um, because you, you get the wrong idea about their motivation, maybe. And um, their true meaning in your life, their true meaning in your life. So here's where you at are most easily led into a false way of thinking. Um, a special group that you have been involved with uh, may cause you to sacrifice more than you signed up for or more than you thought you would have to. Um, by this special group, oh, I mean, it could be kindred spirits, it could be a specialist group that work always together and you, you, you move into that group and then you move out again, or it might be something that you, you're very settled in, I, I, I can't say. Um, but you get the idea and um, you, will, you maybe feel as though things aren't how you would prefer them to be, but you just have to go with the flow. Certain so-called friends or group members may take advantage of you as well, and um, you're blind to others who are more genuinely on your side, but not being so maybe proactive. Um, so, but then you get the, the wrong idea, you get the wrong end of the stick about them. What I'm trying to say is whenever Neptune's around, around we can get the wrong end of the stick because Neptune rules fogs and mists and, and, and blurred boundaries. In fact, Neptune is, is, is about a level of consciousness which is beyond boundaries, which is in, um, which, which is in a, a unified dimension. Um, where we don't hold grudges or have judgments. So it's very hard to translate how it would be happening on this level here, where we have to have opinions and, and judgments about things. Um, <clears throat> so Saturn close to Neptune at the moment changes things because, and that's by degree, uh, one is in, Ver, uh, one is in uh, uh, Pisces and the other is in Sagittarius. Um, but this will help you to get some shape to things, to get to put some boundaries down, to clear the decks. It might feel quite harsh in a way to, for some um, if you're not on top of this. Um, uh, if you've hung on to something and you've refused to, not necessarily let it go 100% by the way, but you ref refuse to let go of the perception um, that you had of it and realize that it's actually become something else now. Um, and then, and, 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 and then you, you hang on to that new model, but you let the, the old model go. You see what I'm saying? So, um, 
now we have Saturn and Saturn gives this opportunity um, to clear the decks, to get rid of negative or draining influences or relationships um, uh, in your life. And uh, Saturn can also give you the chance to become active in a good cause or to bring uh, about social reform, to help, you know, with others to bring about social reform. So as I said earlier, this is a transition house, but there are little kind of bumpy bits of the road sometimes. To keep it quite businesslike is a sort of a little tip I would give. Um, even though this is a real emotional area, if you try to try to be the observer and, and just pull back a bit and just try to be the observer of your own self, really, um, your own life and what's going on. That is the, the, the hot tip here I could give. Um, um, you know, keep it as businesslike as you possibly can. And even though you might not feel in the mood to do that, that's probably, uh, you know, ultimately going to be most helpful to you. Now, we have Mars in your opposite sign. I mentioned earlier, just checking the time. Yeah, we're all right. Um, and Mars is in this very dynamic area. It means that you and someone could be, you know, in some kind of, um, you know, a decision made and then some real dynamic, um, productive result can come about by collab this collaboration, right? It's got to be the right person, of course, and that person mustn't be sort of much faster than you and you're having to being dragged along behind them. I mean, it should, you know, you, 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 if you feel comfortable with it, um, then, then that's okay. And you and someone could, however, um, be at odds with each other at times. And by the way, this is maybe more than one someone, you know, but this is the general vibe of that weather system. So, um, in that weather system, you know, I mean, you're more likely to, have a, a uh, an outcome and a result there's no doubt um sometimes you could be at odds sometimes you could be in conflict with another person or it might be that same person that you had the result with um or it can be that you're you've got to be patient and you've got to go for a compromise compromise even though mars isn't really that good at compromise it's not mars's strong suit however be careful not to handle somebody badly this is the danger of this position of Mars. And this is a long one as well. This one's going to be here until, um, well, actually we've had a lot of this one already. This one's already been there since the end of May and it's going to be there till just past the beginning of, of, of August. So it is, it is a long one. So you'll be knowing about this already. Um, <clears throat> somebody might handle you badly. You might be too hasty with someone, just jumping to conclusions. Somebody might be too hasty about you jumping to conclusions. Um, so it's a little bit like a fencing match. It can manifest like that. Um, the thing is, to, um, try to be a little bit more patient on purpose. Uh, try not to just sort of leap into things without thinking it through first or, or, or saying something which you haven't thought through. Um, and then you make a full start and, th and then you've got to try and repair the damage, you know. Um, uh, so the advice would be to try to keep things on an even keel and don't dive in head first or at full revs um, with all guns blazing um, <laughs> uh, until you're sure of your ground. Because it can be, you know, you can really have a good outcome with this one, but it needs to be, it's a bit like a bunking, bucking bronco, you need to handle that. And um, that's it for uh, July. If you know your rising sign, your moon sign, listen to those. And also this stuff is written up on my website, dianagarden.com. And I'm hoping that the videos are going to be there as well. Um, if not, you know, you can see them on YouTube as you probably are now. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you the next time.